right, so here she is, the number one strawweight contender, back in a championship setting for the first time in a long time. And when we asked her in the fighter meeting about that first title fight, she didn't even want to talk about it. She believes this version of herself would absolutely steamroll that previous version. Yeah, and if that's the case, she was already a really, really good fighter. So for her to make that statement tells me that she has seen some real improvement in her preparation and in her second run towards getting to a UFC championship opportunity. She feels ready and says that tonight she finally reaches the mountaintop. Now we have seen some fighters get a third shot to win a UFC title, but it is rare. We'll see what she can do with this golden second opportunity here tonight. So here she is, the UFC strawweight queen, Zhang Wei Li, has that first defense out of the way now. It was an epic clash with Yoani Jacek, a fight that eventually will find its way into the UFC Hall of Fame. And you gotta think a lot of valuable championship experience gained that night for Zhang Wei Li. There are a lot of difficult matchups here in this top five at 115 pounds, wrestlers, former champions. But right now, Zhang Wei Li will be favored to beat all of them. She's got another Let's stern test in front of her. Zhang Wei Li, ready to make a statement here tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this strawweight championship fight. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> champion fighting out of the red corner presenting the reigning defending undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world John Magnum Wally you ready to fight? ready all right, early round action here, and a lot of people in the fight game believe that when all is said and done, Zhang Wei Li could go down as the greatest strawweight of all time. Her focus tonight, action, pace, pressure. She's not resting on her laurels and everything she's accomplished up to this point in time. She is looking for an explosive finish, and she wants to keep the judges out of things here tonight. Nice shot lands downstairs. Early round action here, and Zhang Wei Li not wasting any time finding a home for that record. A beautiful right hand. You know, we saw this in the Jessica Andrade fight, her title winning performance, where she overwhelmed him with that shot that put her out. Zhang Wei Li is a tremendous athlete, and when she explodes into this punch, she is as good as they come. Nice body shot. Oh, she didn't telegraph that one at all. Spinning back fist. Well, she told us she wanted to kick more in this one tonight, and she is certainly doing that to great effect. She is doing it, and she's being very effective. She is winning the fight with her leg. Looked like maybe she was going to set up the side kick, and there it is. She did a good job kick. Oh, right to the top. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Wei Li Zhang. Great volume on that combination. One of her coaches, the captain, Eric Albadassin, has said Zhang Wei Li is the most gifted athlete he's ever coached, man or woman. Keep 
Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without one. She gets to the single collar dive. Look for her now to drive uppercuts up the middle to do damage on our point. Well, she continues to stay busy, and no surprise, she continues to connect with these punches. She's so fast and so accurate, and also the cardio allows her to fight at such a great pace. Oh, nice jab to the head by Jean. All right, so that body continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damaging moments, and her body investment has been the narrative in this fight. Early, you may not have been able to see how much of an effect this was taking on her, but now you see it. The game plan, everything's clear now, and we'll see her continue to do that as she tries to chase down the finish. Oh, nasty cut there right on the bridge of the nose. Nice kick to the midsection. Back and forth we go. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Oh, big punch land. Now the two separate from the clinch. Just missed with the left there. That hurt sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round. We will keep an eye on this cut. You see the cut man racing in there. Cut, it looks like it's on the bridge of the nose. He'll try to shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for her here moving forward. Looks like he'll close it up now. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. Well, pretty good showcase for these two women in the previous round as our next round gets underway. Some risk management in the previous five minutes. This is a big moment for both of these fighters. Somebody is really going to have to make a decision that they are the one that's going to get their hand raised. The previous round was way too close. Man, she's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a factor now as this fight continues. Yes, she's got to move, Jay. She's got to get on her bicycle. She's got to get to the middle of the round so that the cut man can get to work. Because the more she's in there, the more she tries to fight face first, the more that cut is going to open up. She's got to get hurt. She's hurt bad, John. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without one. Zhang's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Well, so you see some welting now on the thigh a little bit as she continues to attack that area effectively. It's a big part of the leg, so it takes a little longer to really start to see the effects of what you're doing. Right now, she's landing, but down the line, boy. If she stays the course, it'll pay dividends. Just up. Oh, she's a survivor there. I'm not sure her heart knows where she is. She's in the She can't possibly know where she is right now. After taking such a massive hit. Well, DC, some might suggest she's sort of playing with her food here. She has the upper hand, yet not really forcing the ball. Huge shot going on right here. Oh! Oh, is that a brutal cut in the nose, man? Well, she gets back up here, but she is on wobbly legs. Wow, what a fight! Great job. Fire landing that nice kick. Oh, great block there. Gets the single leg takedown. Oh, strong reversal on the ground here. All right, full guard here if you're the bottom fighter. Trying to prevent the half guard, I would assume. Yes, absolutely. Trying to keep her in full guard, throw up some submissions to get back to your feet. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Final seconds here of round two. Round three next. 
All right, so with some urgency, the cut man making his way into the octagon as she heads back to the stool. That is a nasty cut that she is dealing with. It's okay. We expected this type of fight. We trained for this. We're bloody. Well, she's dealing with a pretty big cut now. We'll see if we can isolate exactly where it happened in that previous round. Man, she took way too many shots in round. Ready to fight? Ready. Round three of a possible five. Oh, how good is she with her kicks as she goes to the inside of that leg there? She's good at every single kicking technique, and this is just another one she puts on this play. Well, you can smell the rust and the blood from the broadcast booth now as she continues to target that nasty cut. You know, you look at some of these fighters, and you can see all the blood pouring, and you see them still with that fight in their eyes. She still has the fight in her eyes. You might want to think, though, maybe it's time for her to call it a day, lift the fight alone. It might be that time, guys. Oh, so Oh, nice shot to the body, connects for her there. Somewhat surprising, we didn't see a lot of body work from her earlier in the fight, but she is getting after it now. So why has she not addressed that thigh kick? Does she not feel that? I mean, it looks pretty bad at this point. Well, early, it doesn't feel like it's very damaging. But right now, as they add up, it really starts to hurt. It really starts to limit you. And right now, she has to address it because we're getting very close to that time where there's no turning back. Man, she is really wearing it. Oh, oh how good is that? The diving punch lands plus to the head. All right, setting up the arm bar here. Beautiful setup on that arm bar. Oh, that's very deep now. All right, so now she chooses to bail on the submission, preferring to maintain a dominant position. Very smart. It was a wise decision. And you can see her fight IQ on display there, not giving up a position to try to chase a submission. Oh, she's got her back. Oh, she's in trouble, dude. Ground and pound the hammer, Mark Coleman would be proud. Well, we're becoming a broken record. Another ground strike landed by her there. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Watch for the huge elbows that she's going for. She goes by, and she did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she stands. All right, so with some urgency, the cut man making his way inside the octagon here at the end of the round. Quickly, they get her back to the stool. They got to work on that. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do Fourth it. round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is... Oh, huge connection fire there. Massive shot, man. How is she going to try to find the next shot that will finish the fight? Well, fights like this make this sport the greatest in the world. These two ladies have gone back and forth all night. I don't know who's going to be the last woman standing, but it has been one of the best fights of the year. And one of the best fights of the year. Both have laid it on the line. The blood, the bruising, the physicalness of this fight has been so fun to watch. I don't know if I even care who wins the fight. I just know that I've been in pain, and I know that both of these women are going home with some extra bonus money. Oh, she lands the sidekick, DC. Beautiful technique there. She really is good at managing space with that technique. I think about Michelle Waters, who also does it a lot in her fights. All 
Under three minutes to go in round four. Oh, nice strike on the ground for him. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Oh, beautiful reversal on the ground, and now she's got the dominant position. Shaw gets up and is back on her feet. Very nice. She just misses there with the left. Chase the finish. Oh, with authority, the body. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice block. Punch went nowhere. Well, she keeps going back to that right hand. This one's not there for her. Well, hard to see exactly where she is cut, but it's somewhere around that eye area. It doesn't look great. It's never good to get cut, but right now it's a small one. You don't have to worry about it, but you got to protect it. Oh, she blocked the kick there. Nicely done. Oh, got to be careful taking too many of those leg kicks. Well, the visible damage on her body really starting to develop now. She's got to answer some of these body strikes or this fight's going to end soon. Well, she's got to block something in return. You can't wait until the attack is finished to try to throw something. You can't wait to try to defend. You've got to be first. you got to be first with your offense if you want to deter your... All right, back to the stools we go. She is absorbed. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. Well, new round, same result as she continues to attack the body. Oh, man. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved out of this. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this. And as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that. Uh, yeah. I don't want to see any more going on in their reactions. Ooh. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Inside leg kick is there. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, I'm gonna put you in this fighter's Great timing on that double leg. Oh. You have to fight back. She postures up here. Oh, delivers a big ground and pound shot to the head. She's got her back now. Chong's kick, that one blocked. Oh, nice strike there to the body. She has worked the midsection to great effect here in this round. Just misses with a left hook there. Zhang's taking aim at that cut right now, DC, and you got to admire the fighter IQ, right? My, my referee's going to step in here, and you got to think they're going to call on the doctor to look at her nose that looks nothing like it did yesterday at the way. Well, the problem is she's blowing through the nose. Yeah. Her mouth is wide open, so now it's starting to swell. She's really struggling. you got to wave it off, right? Somebody's daughter out there. Yeah, yeah. that'll do it. Yeah. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight, declaring the winner by TKO, and still the undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world, John Magnum Wayne.
All right, so congratulations to the still UFC strawweight champion of the world, and I am glad my daughters don't fight <laughs> at 115 pounds. I mean, she is a savage. She understands what life is like as a UFC champion, while she does not want to experience the other side of living anymore. A great champion, a great fighter, who's going to be very difficult to take the belt from.